I do not own the rights to this music. Hello and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School lesson for Sunday, June the 11th, 2023. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson Series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We are discussing Righteous Reign of God as the title of the Summer Lesson Series the Righteous Reign of God lesson series is a discussion of the nature of God's reign, beginning with the Old Testament declaration of God's righteous power. The Righteous Reign of God lesson series is categorized into three units or groups of lessons, and we are in unit one, and we are talking about the prophet proclaims God's power. And these lessons explores God's power as proclaimed by the prophets Isaiah, Ezekiel, Zephaniah, and Zechariah. The title of our second lesson in the Unit 1 Summer 2023 Lesson Series is titled Dare to Dream, and it comes from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 25 is our key verse. And that key verse reads, The wolf and the lamb will feed together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox, and dust will be the serpent's food. They will neither harm nor destroy all on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. So there will be no need for a conflict in this new creation that God is talking about in today's lesson. Now, the title of today's lesson, Dare to Dream, from the Old Testament book of Isaiah. Now, the prophet, a holy man, appointed by God to warn the people in Judea of their rebellious nature and flirtation with and the worshiping of idol gods and not following God's commandments. The prophet Isaiah prophesied about the Jewish captivity in Babylon as a punishment for idolatry and disobedience to God. And the acts of rebellion caused the children of Israel to be sold into bondage for no real value. And it created great con chaos, as we discussed in last week's lesson. Despite the people's rebellion, God still revowed to redeem them from their Babylonian captivity and to forgive them for their disobedience and to give them salvation and to bless them in a new creation that he was going to create. There are three summary lesson points for today. God's power from Isaiah chapter 65 verses 17 through 19. God's provision from Isaiah chapter 65 verses 20 through 22. And God's peace from Isaiah chapter 65 verses 23 to 25. The passages for the lesson today revolve around the key words of faith, provision, and peace. And faith, we know, is the complete trust, assurance, belief, or confidence in God. And the children of Israel are commanded to have faith in God for all their provisions in today's lesson. Provision is to provide resources or address needs. And we have the assurance that God promises to provide for us and to address our needs through salvation in today's lesson. Peace is a state of tranquility or quiet or it's an absence of conflict. It's security or order within a community provided by law 
or custom, but the peace we are talking about is the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. And in this peace, it is freedom from war, civil disturbance, and disobedience in today's lesson. Uh, first summary point is God's power from Isaiah chapter 65, verses 17 to 19. And these passages, the prophet Isaiah talks about God's salvation and the power of God to create a new heaven and a new earth. And he goes on to say, See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. So things that we may have thought were important in old life, in our new life, they are not important and they fade from our memory. But he says that be glad and rejoice for whatever I create, for I will create Jerusalem to be a delight and the people a joy. And he says, I will rejoice over Jerusalem and take delight in my people. And the sound of weeping and of crying will be heard in it no more. So the Lord is promising salvation for his people. God's provision is our second summary point, and that's from Isaiah chapter 65, verses 20 through 22. And in these passages, Isaiah prophesies on the blessings of security and the blessing it brings to the children of Israel. He goes on to say in his prophecy, he says, Never again will there be an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not live out his years. And the one who dies at a hundred will be considered a mere child. The one who fails to reach a hundred will be considered accursed. And he says they will build houses and they will dwell in them. They will build vineyards or plant vineyards and eat their fruit. And he says no longer will they build houses and others will live in them or plant others that others will eat. For as the days of a tree, so will be the days of my people. And goes on to say that my chosen one will long enjoy the work of their hands. The chosen ones are the ones who are obedient and who acknowledge their salvation. And he goes on to say that the Lord will provide for his people all of their needs. He will lengthen their life. He will provide them with housing. He will provide them with land. He will provide them with security. In other words, for those who are obedient to the Lord, he allows them or blesses them to prosper. God's peace is our third and final summary point, and that's from Isaiah chapter 65, verses 23 through 25. And in these passages, the Lord says that he will bless his people and address all of their needs, and there will be no need for conflict. And he goes on to say that they will not labor in vain, nor will they bear children doomed to misfortune, for they will be a people blessed by the Lord them as well as their descendants and he goes on to provide the assurance that he will be with them he says before they call i will answer and while they're still speaking i will hear so the lord will address their needs even before we know what our needs are and he goes on to say that lastly the wolf and the lamb will feed together and the lion will eat straw like the ox and dust will be the serpent's food. He says that they will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. So the Lord will provide all of the protection that we need. And the Lord will provide all of our provisions, our food, our land, provide our children with longevity and good fortune. So those are the summary lesson points for Sunday, June the 11th, 2023. The power of his name, God's provision, and God's peace. This is Brother Ron with the Sunday School Summary for Sunday, June the 11th, 2023. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week. And we hope to see you next Sunday for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.